Well, hello, Pandy here of Pandy's Hair Candy and More. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. If you are already my chat family, you already know what it is. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Kick back and relax and enjoy the commentary. For the most part over here, I talk about hair, both wigs, weaves, natural hair, but overall hair. I do product reviews, mostly health, beauty, and wellness. I do TV show reviews, and I also do trending topics commentary. It's one of my pet peeves. Your girl's always got her ear to the streets. But again, I digress. I want to welcome you and thank you for taking a moment to click on my video. And if you wouldn't mind, on your way in or on your way out, please take a moment to hit that like button. If you really enjoy the commentary, go ahead and hit the subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free 99. So what I'm going to do, y'all, is I'm going to just drop a few of the trending headlines that have been buzzing on the social media and the local TV media outlets and just kind of get you guys' take, see if you all have heard anything. Um, and we're going to just chop it up in the chat. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you've heard the stories. Let me know if I left anything out. All feedback is appreciated. Prefer, preferably, the positive. So without further ado, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump right in. Um, this week, Tyler Perry, he actually paid for seniors' groceries at more than 70 stores this week, guys. The filmmaker and entertainment mogul Tyler Perry surprised an unsuspecting group with another charitable act to help those impacted by the COVID-19 situation. Earlier this week, Perry also gave out generous tips at an Atlanta area restaurant and later this week the 50 year old mogul purchased groceries for the elderly choppers at 44 Kroger stores in Atlanta and 29 Winn-Dixie stores in New Orleans. People over the age of 60 are at a higher risk for serious complications if they contract the virus. So most grocery stores have designated hours for senior citizens to ensure that they can shop for their necessary household goods during the quarantine. Apparently, who currently resides in Atlanta but grew up in New Orleans, decided he wanted to do a good deed. An anonymous donor bought all of the groceries for every single senior citizen shopping during their personal special hour for elderly folks at an Atlanta area Kroger. Shoppers were stunned and ever so grateful when they got their receipts, it was simply signed, Atlanta Angel. When Dixie also went on to tweet a statement on Wednesday thanking Perry, it read, and I quote, Thank you to our friend, at Tyler Perry, for paying it forward by purchasing groceries for our elderly and high-risk hashtag Win Dixie customers shopping at our Louisiana stores. When Dixie applauds you for your love for community and sincere generosity. Kudos to Tyler Perry. That was such an awesome thing for him to do. I thought that was wonderful. And I believe that's truly why Tyler Perry is always blessed. You always see him elevate into the next level because he's always looking out for people. That's one thing I admire about him. Have you all heard about it? Did you all get an opportunity to see it? I think it's wonderful when you're blessed financially to give back. It's always better to give than to receive. Kudos to Tyler Perry. Now moving on y'all, in other news this week, much like the Jackson family is to the secular music world, the same can be said of the Winans family to the gospel music world. Gospel music singer Dee Dee Winans has revealed in a recent interview that he recently tested positive for the CV, as well as his brother, Marvin, and their mother. Now, B.B. Winans admits in the recent interview that he too had the mentality that he could not contract it. And even though he says he was cautious, he somehow got it. But he didn't require hospitalization. 
However, in that same interview, he revealed that his brother, who had also tested positive, did in fact require hospital treatment for about four to five days, as well as their mother. Now, he also stated in that interview that although he is a man of faith, he admits that you do have to use some form of common sense in the battle of the CD-19. Now, he's now on the recovering side of the virus, and, you know, he's just urging people to really take this thing seriously because he recognizes that things could have turned out very differently for him. So kudos to uh, BB for still being here with us and being on the recovering side of things and being here to tell us and warn of us, you know, the seriousness of this issue. Um, it has no discrimination on financial status, um, economical status, race, creed. It's out there, guys, and we have to take this more seriously. It can affect any one of us at any given time. It just can. Now, moving right along, you all. In entertainment news this week, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson is flexing the power that he has at the Stars Network. The rapper turned television producer has gotten his series Black Mafia Family onto the cable network. As 50 Cent gears up to present his upcoming sequels to his very successful television series Power, the businessman has gotten his latest urban drama, Black Mafia Family, the green light to start production. Black Mafia Family is inspired by the true story of two brothers, Demetrius Big Meech and Terry Southwest, who rose from the decaying streets of Southwest Detroit in the late 1980s and gave birth to one of the most influential crime families in this country. Black Mafia Family has all the hallmarks of a great drama, from the larger-than-life Bonori brothers to the deadly high-stakes world they inhabited. This series is going to be an incredible ride for the audiences around the world. Quote, I told y'all Black Mafia was coming and it's going to be the biggest show on television, adds Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Meech and Terry are legends and I'm excited to bring their story to the Stars Network. End quote. Shout out to Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, y'all. He is out here doing the darn thing. I mean, he done went from rapping to acting to producing and he's just out here doing his thing, and I ain't mad at him. Are you all looking forward to seeing Black Family Mafia or Black Mafia Family? I am. I'm a connoisseur of TV shows, guys, and I love power. So I can't wait. I can't wait. Drop down in the comments, y'all. Let me know what you think. Did you all get an opportunity to check out these headlines this week? And let me know if your girl missed anything. If you enjoyed this commentary and you'd like to hear more, take a moment to hit that share, like, and subscribe. I'm Pandy of Pandy's Here, Candy, and More. I want to thank you for taking a moment to click on my video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.